Hi, this is Donna Dracunis, and I'm going to show you about picking up the stitches on the edge of the piece that's in the center of the purple mort blue hap shawl. So first you pick what you want for the right side. This is the technically the right side, but I chose to use this as the right side when I was picking up my stitches. So whichever side you look bet you like the way it looks better is fine. And what you're going to do is we're going to pick up stitches along the two sides where all those big yarn over loops are and we're going to put them onto a circular needle. I'm not using one here because I just have a swatch, but we're going to pick up and knit stitches on a circular needle because this is going to get longer and longer as we knit out the piece. So all you're going to do is you can tie the, this on to your scrap yarn if you want, but you're just going to go into the loop and pick up, knit up a stitch into the loop, pull up the yarn for a stitch. And you're going to do that all the way down one side. And I'm going to keep going because I don't have that many stitches. Because when you get to the center, you're going to have to knit up in those three cast on stitches that we had at the beginning. I think I'm falling off the edge of the video here. So when we get down to this edge, we're gonna pick up and knit three stitches along the bottom edge, just like that. And you'll notice I go under two loops when I go under the bottom edge, makes it stronger. But when I go up this side, I'm just picking up in each of these loose loops. Now I wanna show you what happens when you get up to where you changed colors because it gets really messy and that's okay. So I'm almost up to that. And you can see I have my two strands of yarn, I've got this big loop here, the green here. What we want to do is make sure we catch the green loop that was the yarn over. That first green loop is the yarn over, even if you can't tell. And it's go ahead and go into it and the gold loop in my example. It would be gray in your first color on that one. And that counts as the green yarn over. Then push the tails out of the way and knit into the other side of that big gold loop. The reason you get the big gold loop or the big gray loop as it will be in your uh, main color is that you carried that yarn up an extra row when you knit this row. And you don't have to worry about it, what it looks like at all. You won't really see that at all when you do the shawl knitting and when you weave in these ends you can tidy up anything that looks a little funny but we'll look at that at the end of the project that's it for getting started on this shawl